Doc Anderson here. Today I'd like to talk about astaxanthine. I previously did a video on this for visual support and other uses, but I recently upped my dose by four milligrams to approximately 10 milligrams. I was already on the MaculaGuard Life Extension product, which has six milligrams of astaxanthine, and I upped my dose four more from life extension to a total of 10. The effects were dramatic. I could feel a difference. I don't know if I ever felt the difference on the six. It just definitely helped my vision. But particularly in my skin, I really noticed uh, improved skin tone, moisture, and also more sun resistance. It acts as an internal sunblock. These effects were definitely more noticeable at 10 milligrams. Also, I noticed continued improvement in visual effects. Uh, astaxanthine has an effect on retinal blood flow, and I definitely noticed improved vision even more at the uh, 10 milligram dose. You know, they say that astaxanthine is a supplement you can feel, but I really didn't feel it as much until I hit that higher dose. The other area where there was a dramatic effect was my exercise tolerance. I already work out extensively, but my uh, ability to ride the bike even further at higher rates of speeds was also uh, confirmed uh, using this higher dose. So I really recommend uh, upping your dose to 10 or ideally 12 milligrams. So now we're going to view this uh, wonderful Japanese video by mainstream doctors on the uses of astaxanthine. This uh, first uh, Japanese video is of a, a cardiologist at the, uh, at the main cardiac hospital in one of the Japanese cities. And you'll see that, let's see what he has to say. He has the, a patient here that has dilated cardiomyopathy. This is a leading heart hospital near Tokyo. It provides advanced care for hard to treat conditions. Doctors here began giving patients astaxanthin supplements five years ago. Mitochondria create energy, so the heart can keep functioning. But the process also generates reactive oxygen species. The harder the heart beats, the more this byproduct is created. That harms mitochondria and keeps them from producing enough energy. It's like the heart runs out of fuel and is one cause of cardiac failure. Astaxanthin can ease oxidative stress to keep the heart from getting rusty, so to speak, and that can help people stay healthy for a long time. Yuji Fukuda has been receiving treatment for dilated cardiomyopathy. The condition affects the heart muscle, and there is no cure. This is Fukuda's heart in 2011, when he first started coming to the hospital. Compared to a normal heart, Fukuda's is larger. The muscles are stretched and slack, and the contractions are weak. Western medicines can prevent problems like these from getting worse, but can't fix them. At first, Fukuda took medicines to help his heart function. But his condition grew worse, and everyday life started to become difficult. Walking was hard enough. There were stairs outside the office where I used to work, but I couldn't get to my floor without taking breaks. I'd run out of breath, rest a little, and then start climbing again. Then, Fukuda's doctor gave him a supplement containing astaxanthin. 
he took 12 milligrams a day along with medications. This is how his heart looked after taking astaxanthin for two years. Now, if you look at the echoes that he shows before and after, you can see the patient's cardiac function was uh, terrible on the initial uh, cardiac cath. And on the follow-up cardiac cath, after two years of 12 milligrams of astaxanthin, you can see dramatic improvements and basically a normally functioning left ventricle. Uh, I think these effects are dramatic and have major implications for uh, mainstream medicine. If you can imagine people with heart transplants, they're able to get normal cardiac function just by taking astaxanthine. I think this is a dramatic finding. The next Japanese video is a patient with early cirrhosis and fatty liver. And you'll see on this video that the, we have both pre-astaxanthine and post-astaxanthine uh, liver biopsies. And you can see the amount of reactive stress and fatty infiltration of the liver on the uh, post-astaxanthine uh, biopsy, the improvements are dramatic. Doctors are also using astaxanthin to treat liver diseases that are difficult to cure. Tsuguhito Ota at Kanazawa University has been conducting clinical trials. He believes astaxanthin can help restore liver function. The participants have a condition called fatty liver. It's caused when the liver accumulates an excess buildup of fat. Problems occur when reactive oxygen species cause the fat to oxidize, triggering inflammation. Over time, the liver tissue can harden, leading to cirrhosis or even cancer. In the past, the condition mainly affected heavy drinkers. But now, more non-drinkers who regularly eat high-calorie foods are also getting fatty liver. Oxidative stress plays a key role in the progression from fatty liver to serious liver disease. Astaxanthin is a strong antioxidant, so I thought it would be an effective treatment. Ota had 40 people with fatty liver take 12 milligrams of astaxanthin every day for six months. Hideki Azuma was one of them. He struggled with fatty liver for 20 years. Here's a microscopic image of Azuma's liver tissue before he started taking astaxanthin. The white round spots are fat. The dense purple matter is tissue that has hardened due to inflammation. That happens when reactive oxygen species oxidize the fat. Look at this. It's all hardened tissue. Your condition is bordering on cirrhosis. You can see lots of it. The image on the left is from before the trial. The one on the right was taken after Asma took astaxanthin for six months. Many of the white spots are gone, and so is much of the inflammation. If we can prevent fatty liver and cirrhosis by astaxanthin supplements. Again, this is a life-changing event for many patients. And the uh, final uh, part of the Japanese uh, video is the uh, calf muscle bi biopsies on mice and you can see that the number of reactive oxidative 
species in the uh, mouse biopsies uh, dramatically improves with astaxanthine, which may explain why the mice that take astaxanthine seem to have more endurance and run faster. Their experiments on mice have shown a link between astaxanthin and physical fitness. They fed the mice on the right food containing astaxanthin for four weeks. Those on the left did not eat it. Then mice from each group were placed in an exercise box. Initially, there weren't any obvious differences. But gradually, the mice that didn't consume astaxanthin began to trail behind. The researchers repeated the experiment and tracked how many minutes the mice were able to run. Those that consumed astaxanthin ran 17 minutes longer on average than those that didn't. The researchers took a closer look to pinpoint why. They dyed tissue from the heart and calf muscles with a special reagent. Samples from the mice that did not eat astaxanthin contain many dark spots. They indicate areas of inflammation. Muscle inflammation can cause fatigue. That explains why the mice fell behind. What's more, inflammation is caused by a potentially harmful substance called reactive oxygen species. When the mice engage in strenuous exercise, mitochondria and other cellular components in both skeletal and heart muscles start producing excessive amounts of reactive oxygen species. This substance oxidizes things like DNA, protein, fat and cells, and causes the dark spots to occur. Again, these are uh, dramatic uh, long-term effects and obviously Japan is way ahead of us as far as studying this. And finally, I'm just going to talk about the last two articles I showed in my last uh, astaxanthine video. Uh, one on the uh, potential treatment of liver cancer and prevention of liver cancer, which is another reason I take astaxanthine because of my uh, family history and also the potential implications in treating prevented uh, COVID-19 and other viruses. I have always felt previously that NAC might have been a better candidate than astaxanthine, uh, but after reading this article, you, you can see that it is definitely helpful in preventing the cytokine storm associated with astaxanthine and may have some benefits in preventing, preventing and treating uh, COVID-19 and other viruses. Certainly the future uh, of astaxanthine looks very promising in multiple areas. And uh, I hope this works for you. But again, if you ever have a notice of reaction or anything like that, uh, call your doctor. But in general, astaxanthine uh, as shown at the regular doses from 12 milligrams and under have no side effects. Enjoy the outdoors, Doc Anderson.